Hello, beautiful witches. Welcome back to my channel, Cali Contour is here. Today, we are doing my February favorites of skincare and makeup. I got some perfume. I also have one food item. So, let's get to it. So, first up, we have a perfume. This is the Black Opium Illicit Glean by YSL Udu Perfume. And it's just so lovely. I mean, it, it's largely vanilla and sweet with some notes of fig and pale. And um, it's got a little bit of coffee in it, a little bit of patchouli and like woody spicy smell which I'm not always the biggest fan of, but it really works in combo with this sweetness. You can really smell the fig and the pale, which I love that. Um, it's just, and like it lasts a long time. It is an Udu perfume, which is like the middle teal in between perfume, which is the most powerful and lasts the longest, and a toilet, which is the least powerful and doesn't last quite as long. So it isn't like the middle ground. And I just really love it. I waited forever for it to come out um, at the Macy's store that I walk at. And I just, I well, I smelled the Tesla bottle. And I was like, yep, this is for me. And I snatched it up. <laughs> and funny story, my um, I was in the bathroom at walk and my manager walked in to the bathroom and like I was like in the stall um and she goes Callie and I was like how is it my shoes how did you know it was me she was like oh I could smell your perfume <laughs> I was like oh well lucky it was me not somebody wearing the same scent um but yeah I just I love this it, I, it feels so luxurious as well um like the black little you know that you know i love black little so yeah um that that's my only like really love of perfume for this month if you guys want to see my full perfume collection you can kind of see it behind me as long as well as all my tokidokis uh then let me know and i will do a video on that up next um we have a hail product and this is the there's a hail caught in it get the hail in it this is the olaplex number no. six bond smoothal and it's a leave-in reparative styling cream that reduces frizz nourishes and protects and this is the only like it's not like a hail oil because like hail oils make my hair greasy. They just, they never work for me. I always am giving them away to a friend. Um, but this is like a hail cream and it works really well. I use it on both damp and dry hair and it just makes my hair feel like silky. And I feel like my ends... I really need to cut. I feel like I just cut my hair. I just trimmed it. But I probably need like a professional cut. Um, but my hair doesn't feel as like dry. Like everything about me is just dry. Like my skin, my hair, my humor, <laughs> you know. Okay, so let's move on to an eyeshadow. Now, this itself is a magnetic compact from Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics. I placed my first order of them last month. The only thing that I would say is I wish this part was a mule. That would be cool, but it does fold all the way to the back. And then the shadow that I love the most from them is called Pain and Surprise. And this is what it looks like. You can kind of see the shift. like look at that it's like a lime green yellow blue shift and it's just so pretty i love it um one quick fail that i want to throw into this video a little bit of negativity this is thing of tail and in the pan it looks wonderful okay swatched 
not so much. Second swatch, not so much. And they say that this works well with the pigment paint. Like, you know how like some companies have their own like mix -em, mixing medium? Um, that's what they, because I asked customer service, but like I don't remember the listing saying anything about like to use with our mixing medium. And I tried it over glitter glue and it did not help. I tried spraying my brush, it did not help. Um, so they gave me a $9.99, a $9.99 refund. So next time I place an order with them, I am going to order their mixing medium and try to get that shade to work. Cause I don't want that shade to be a dud. The next eyeshadow, you guys didn't even know I had this because I didn't do a video on it. You know, I found that I really don't like doing my makeup on camera. Which for like a you like a beauty YouTuber is like what? But I just don't like to do it. Like doing my makeup, especially my eye makeup, is like my happiest time. It's like my relaxation time. It's when, where I watch most of my beauty YouTube. Um, and I just don't love doing my makeup on camera. So I have not done a three looks one video with this palette like I normally would. This is the Odin's Eye Hella um, w collaboration with Angelica Nyquist. And this is a lovely palette. You guys know I love greens. I love like these kind of green t tones with like the mustardy and like the musky. Um, this is just a really good palette. The multi, the duo chrome and multi chromes in here are fantastic. The only shade I don't love is this shade, Hellfile. I just feel like it's a little lackluster. Um, but Rivel. Rivel is incredible. Um, and so is Grim. Grim is kind of just like a shiny black metal, like, but it's just really, really nice. I just don't love Hellfile. I don't know why, but all the other shades I love. Oh, especially this green Venom. Look how pigmented. That is just a straight up lime green. I love it. Um, I do a lot of green looks, as you can tell, and that's kind of smudging away a bit there, isn't it? I should have touched that before I started filming this video, but I did not notice. So yeah, this is one of my favorite palettes so far of the year. Okay, let's see. What else is in my bag of goodies? I have one more eyeshadow to talk about, and it's from MAC. This is Starry Night. It looks like that. Big flip. Look at that. It's almost kind of the same as my lipstick. It's similar. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, love duochromes, or I don't know if this is a multi-chrome or a duochrome. I think it might be a multi-chrome. Um, and you know, I have a couple other MAC things in here, and I didn't know MAC was so good until I started working at this Macy's. Um, like, it just seemed kind of like an older generation makeup line to me. Um... And the same is true for like Estee Lauder and Lancome. Clinique kind of still had a younger vibe to it in some ways. Um, but those three just seem like old, old generation to me. And, but I have really fallen in love with MAC stuff. Like I have another MAC favorite. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is Spanish Fly. And it's just like a duochrome shimmer lipstick. Another lipstick that I got from them, which, not gonna lie, I only bought it maybe because the number on it is 666. Six. <laughs> and, but I also really like the color. This is Sweet Deal. This is from their new Amplified Pink collection. 
you know just a really nice pink that looks really good with my skin tone um i just i have like six mac lipsticks so far like it's bad <laughs> um and like i like the other stuff too and i just i wasn't expecting to like it as much as i did i feel like i was missing out okay let's take a break and talk about a food item i've been eating a lot of pocky not gonna lie this is the almond crush um made of real almonds it's just like chocolate and almonds crushed on top of the biscuit um i also really like the banana chocolate one that one's really good and the cookies and cream one that's that one's really good i just bought this excuse me i just bought this pack of pocky for 7.99 um i'm trying to get the most for my money so I've been eating a lot of Pocky, but I like, like, the special ones, like, you know, the almond one. Um, but yeah, I just, I just munch on them all day, all night. It, it's bad. <laughs> like, I told my husband I had a Pocky addiction now, and he's like, I think you just added to your sugar addiction. And I was like, I think I just added to my addictions of addiction. Like, it's me. <laughs> Moving on. Um, this is a deodorant. And this is Explore by Mont Blanc. It is a men's deodorant, but it just makes me feel so like sexy when I wear like men's cologne or men's deodorant. I don't know why. Maybe it like reminds, well, okay, it's a TMI. This is not for kids. But you know, like when you have sex and you're smells of you and the other person just mesh together that's what wearing men's products reminds me of so i think that's why it makes me feel sexy i figured it out um but i picked this up because i wanted to try a luxury deodorant that i could afford and this was i'll probably put the price in here i'm hoping i'm not too lazy to do that i want to say around like 30 um 29 30 something like that and this is really nice mm. um let me look up what the notes are so the base of mont blanc explore is patchouli and sage with the heart being leather and the top notes being pink pepper and bergamot um and it just feel, it just smells so sexy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, moving on, I have a pretty old product here. Here, let me take out these two old product, three old products. Okay, so this is the Charisma Contour Palette from Kaleidos. And I finally hit pan in the middle shade. This is just the most cool toned contour slash bronzer that i have ever found it just looks so good on my skin um and i want to get one of hindash's butopsy palette either the old butopsy or the new i really want to get the new monaco romance palette and use that as my next cool tone contour but natasha denona just Put, revealed her pastel palette and i kind of would rather go with natasha denona's pastel palette because that has shimmers and the monaco and romance palette is only um mattes so uh, i don't know what to do i like i can definitely not get both i can only afford one um i'm just not sure what to do so if you have a preference of which you'd rather see me review um, let me know. Hindash Monaco Romance or Natasha Denona Pastel Palettes. Um, another, this is probably not new. This is the Stilla One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primal. And I did watch my old video to see if I mentioned this in last month's favorites and I do not think I did. So this is what I'm wearing on my skin today, along with a concealer that I'll mention in a moment. And it just corrects your skin tone. It's kind of like the Tycho Jot, um, 
Tigal Cream, I think it's called. I'm not positive. Um, but it just is like foundation, but not foundation. It, it's much more skin-like is what I would say. And so this is really good for like off days, just casual days. If you want to just even out your skin tone, um, I love it. Now, okay, let's do the other old product. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. This is the Fenty Beauty Mint Mojito and Sand Castle. Now I haven't used Sand Castle yet because I've just been focusing on Mint Mojito. But let me swatch this for y'all. Like y'all, I did not know these were so good. Like look at that blue. Look at that blue. It's kind of similar to the Notoriously Morbid shadow I just showed you guys. Like, it's like a duochrome. I did not know that these little um, kilowatt highlighters from Fenty... Ah, uh, fuck, the paper fell out. Uh, not the paper, the clear paper, whatever. Um, that these were duochromes. I did not know that. I would have picked them up, all of them up. Um, I do have one other... It's the purple one, but I haven't tried that one as much. But let's swatch it just for hell's sake to see if it's like duo Um, So purple and purple. I mean, yeah, it's not as vibrant as the blue one. This one is seven day weekend and poolside. I love how it's like a cool tone purple. Um, I might use this as a blush even. I'm just like really happy with Mint Mojito. And I can't wait to break into Sandcastle. I just kind of always do a fun color highlight. You know, it's me. I like to look like a clown. I mean, hell, did you see my last favorites video? I was like full clown. No stop. Um, okay, conceal. This is the KPD Good Apple Concealer. Mine is in light 109 and I wear this almost like every day. It doesn't crease on me. Now, sometimes if I use a powder, it will crease on me. Um, but I feel like that's more the powder because some powders do it, some powders don't with the same concealer. So the concealer is fine. It's the powders that sometimes make me crease. Um, but I just love this. The applicator, like, well, like, at first, well, like, when you take it out, when I first got it and I took it out, it didn't come out easily. And so a plop of concealer would fly out and land somewhere, which I did not like that. But it has gotten easier. And no more plops of concealer come out anymore. And it's got, like, a fingertip brush, which I actually really like. And yeah, overall, it's really hydrating. It's, I would say it's like medium coverage. It's not as full coverage as my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, concealer. So this is more medium coverage, but it's really lightweight and it has like a skin-like finish. It doesn't have any smell to it, which is great. I don't like really when my products have a smell to it because my husband's really sensitive and he'll like make me wash my face if I have a product that has a scent on it. Um, and I like to keep my concealer on. So, up next, this is another oldie. This is the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear uh, Sunscreen SPF 15 up to 24 hour color, wear and comfort, transfer resistance. Mine is in the shade 130 Ivory N. And guys, this is so good. Like, again, I thought Lancome was just for old people, <laughs> but I really like this finish. It's like a satin finish, and it's just really lovely. Um, it also has SPF 15 in it, which I love. When my makeup has SPF in it, it makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my skin. Um, let's see, what else? It just has a nice satin finish. Um, and, you know, this is like a big bottle, too. I mean, I'm sure it's just one ounce. Hmm. It does not say. Lift. Okay, I'm going to lift the stickle. Well, here, let me compare it to, like, this foundation. 
that's about the same size yeah so one ounce okay um anyway uh yeah like i just find myself drawn to this it just looks really nice on my skin um the match might not be spot on but if i blend it out it works up next is by glowish and this is the berry juicy cheeky vegan blush powder um oh in berry juicy is the shade i feel like i've talked about this before but i watched my old video from last month and i didn't see it so um this is just a really nice blush you guys like i did not expect to love it this much okay it's very pigmented there because i really dug in but you can blend it out and out of all my blushes of this type oh i know where i talked about this in my ranking blush video that's it um this is just super good um you can it's buildable it's definitely buildable it's a nice um flushed shade um and i like to do blush draping and it looks really natural i like to put it on like the tip of my nose that like a tiktok trend and um yeah it is tiny which i kind of like because it means that it was cheaper and i can use it up and hit pan and feel like a success in something in life so let's we got four more items left so this is by also by lancome and this is the sills so that c-i-l-s booster primal for your mascara and guys it just makes you look hey look at my lashes can you see my lashes not really okay i swear though this works really well this works better than the shop miss a primal it just like i use this i try to not use it on my days off because i don't want to go through it all um but i use it like every day i walk and it just feels it just makes my lashes so much like bigger like it adds like length like i can actively see and like i don't know if it has fibers in it or what it doesn't irritate my eyes at all though even when i take my makeup off it, it's kind of hard to take off not gonna lie but like if you use like this is the lancome by facial double action eye makeup removal it comes right off with this but like with my vanilla co um makeup melt or cleanser thing it, it doesn't come off as easily or flat i have to go back in with an oil cleanser to get this mascara off um but yeah it it's really what was i talking about again the mascara the, the primal <laughs> the primal yeah um i just feel like it really lengthens and volumizes my lashes okay so for a brow pen this is by real beauty and this is double ended one side you get like the normal um uh twist up pencil and then the other side i'm so glad there's not a spoolie okay technically there is a spoolie but it's a brow gel and i you know don't have a lot of hairs but this just helps um kind of build up a bit of intensity in my brows on the i have hair like right here and then this is drawn on hair right here this is drawn on um and this just works pretty well. I, it's not the best because the gel doesn't have any holding power. So I will say that. I don't really need hold, holding power. I just trim my brows when they start to like fly away. I like to keep them like short and kind of stubby. Um, but yeah, th that this has become at least this month's favorite brow pencil. Um, because like I also feel like I'm not wasting anything because I am using both ends and I feel like I'm part of the cool girls club which like not normally uh because I'm using a brow gel so that's plus okay last two products let's power through this is by KVD and this is the epic kiss notion vegan butter lipstick this is in zine queen and Mine is messy, but here's the shade. Here, let me put it on so you can really see. I'm just going to put it on over top of this MAC one. Okay. 
but yeah it's just like a nice cool tone brown and i really like it it's like corporate goth without being like black lipstick it's still dark enough and it has a nice shine and it lasts pretty long actually like i hold that these didn't last that long for people um i do have the the blue one in this and that does not last at all that feather was immediately and not you know i don't have a blue lip liner so i can't really stop it from feathering i don't know maybe i guess i can use like a blue eye pencil but uh, anyway love this i wear this all the time let's see how much i have left oh keeps keeping going keeping going oh i'm scared to put it up even more oh goodness oh goodness oh goodness that's a lot i have a lot left okay i'm pretty happy with that damn there's a lot in here hell yeah okay last product because I'm an old lady, apparently. This is um, the Estee Lauder Vitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And I have really struggled, struggled finding a moisturizer with SPF in it that doesn't pill. You know, I always like to go in for SPF moisturizer in the morning. And because, you know, I got to keep up my, you know, golf pale face you know um and it's just awesome redhead naturally and i don't want to burn um and i don't want all the damage that comes with sun anyway there's a lot of reason to, to use spf okay um and this doesn't pill so i love it it is pricey um and it is very thick so a little goes a long way like okay I'm going to take this tiny bit and cover my whole hand and down to my wrist with it and up to my knuckles. Okay, see? A little goes a long way. Um, it does. It, sm it just smells like SPF. It just smells like SPF. Um, but yeah, that was all of my mom's favorites. Tell me if any of our favorites overlapped. Did you love any of the stuff that I've talked about? Let me know if you guys want to give this video a like because you like me. Not necessarily this video. or If you like kitties and puppies, put a like. I figured out the algorithm. <laughs> if you like kitties and puppies, put a like. I figured it out, okay. Um... And if you want to make me smile, be, then you could, and like be like really, really happy for a second, then you could subscribe because like unlike big YouTubers who have like millions of followers, they don't even notice when you subscribe. They don't even appreciate when you subscribe. I notice every single one of you because I only have like 30 one subscribers as of now so you should give me a sub please it would make my heart warm but enough about that you know um these are all my favorites and oh also i upload really randomly just like when i feel like it when i have something to say um <laughs> so if you want to hit that bell that will alert you when i put out new videos that would probably be helpful I mean, it, it just would, because if you're not on YouTube every day, you're not going to notice. And you want to see me, don't you? I mean, I don't want to see me, but you want to see me, I assume. So hit that bell <laughs> and stay weird.